Hey guys, it's Griffin here, and today I'm doing another tutorial on how to render out a text render from Cinema 4D and then add a layer style to it in Photoshop. So, I'm going to be doing this assuming that you already know the basics of Cinema 4D. Uh, and if you don't know them, like how to make a simple text render, then go watch my, uh, my previous tutorial on my channel, and I will show you how to make a simple text render. So, just going to get my text. Make it smaller, drag it to the middle, change your text. I'm gonna be going pretty fast right now from Cinema 40 because, yeah, I already did a tutorial on how to um, make a text render, so be sure to go watch that if you don't know how to do it. Then I'm gonna just put a white material on it. Okay, so let's just see how that looks pre rendered. Okay, so that looks fine. I'm just gonna. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna render this out as a PNG file. Uh, just text render. Whatever. Just render it really quick. Okay, so once that's rendered, you're gonna close out of this. Then you're gonna select the mode text. And then you're going to change the depth to like 0.1. So it's like, it's basically 2D. So then you're gonna change, you're gonna render it as something else like text render 2 and render it. Okay, now once that's rendered, you're gonna go open in Photoshop, open both of those. Text render. Okay, so open both of those. Okay, now you're gonna go to the 2D one, and then you're just gonna add a little layer style to it. So, let's add a gradient overlay. Just, uh, check. Wait, I'm gonna put a background actually. Hold on. New layer. Control A. Uh, use that tool. Fill. Black. Okay, so now we have a background, so it's easier to see the text. Now, you're gonna check on gradient overlay, then we're gonna make like a shiny kind of layer style. So, uh, first of all, you're gonna double check this one, then do like in the middle of the gray side, then you're gonna click OK, then you're gonna press anywhere in here, so you have another one, then you're gonna drag your white one to 50%, then you're gonna drag this other gray one to 100%. And then, as you can see, it's already kind of shiny, has kind of a shiny effect. Then, then what we're going to do is we're going to change the style to reflective. So now it's even, like, shinier, I guess. So, alright, that looks pretty good. Uh, now we're going to add inner glow. So check inner glow. Put the opacity to 100. I like it on 100. Then put it to, like, the size to, like, 40, I guess. And then we're gonna add satin, and this will make it look even shinier. So, we're gonna change, I'm just gonna uh, make sure the angle is at like 20. Sorry if I'm going kind of fast, I'm just kind of like impatient, I wanna get this tutorial over with. Um, so we're gonna change the distance to like 30, and then size to like uh, 70, and change the opacity to like, uh, Third, like 30. Okay. Now, if you uncheck it, you can see it just, it just gives it like more of a, you know, just metallic effect. So, all right, that looks pretty good. Uh, yeah. So that's good for the layer style. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this one onto your other render. Okay. Then we're just gonna put it right on top of it. Okay. So. As you can see, your render has now has a layer style, so yeah, you can do a lot of different things with this. Also, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little inner glow on the backing, and it'll just look better. Put the opacity to like 70. Okay, so looks pretty good already. Now I'm just going to open a little banner template with color correction to show you how it can look. Yeah, up, hurry up. <clears throat> Come on.
Okay, so now we're gonna dra just drag both of them. Oh wait, no. I'm just showing you right now, sorry. So just kind of ignore this for a little Come on. Okay, so yeah, now that now I have like a color correction on it and it looks pretty cool and this is what it can look like on a banner. So yeah, it's pretty shiny and it has a layer style on it and it'll look way better than just a simple white text render. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this and you benefited from it, then be sure to drop a like and comment. And also comment what tutorial you'd like to see next, like if you want to learn more about layer styles or also if you want to learn how to make a better Cinema 4D render or anything like that. So just drop a like and comment. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, I'm out. Peace.